So there's uh, McMurdo Station in the shadow of Mount Erebus. Uh, it's puffing in the distance. And on the other side of the same peninsula, you just might be able to make out a little patch of green. That's Scott Base. That's the New Zealand base. And the two of them are on the edge of this peninsula. Hut Point uh, Peninsula, which is um, the tip of an island called Ross Island, which contains uh, several stratovolcanoes, Erebus being the most preeminent one, and that one right there is Mount Terror. So I've come out on cross-country skis to the ice runway here to give you a little bit of perspective. Um, this is where the Air Guard have their C-130s, which is the plane of choice because they can uh, land in averse conditions and carry skis, but it's not the plane I came down on. Um, it's just after midnight New Zealand time, which is what uh, the base is run on, but obviously is broad daylight down here. Um, I switched over to the graveyard shift so I could uh, kind of increase my range of recreational activities. And uh, up ahead is kind of the, I don't know if you can see it here, is the center of the runway facilities. That's where the little dining hall is and whatnot. And uh, most of the facilities. Be right behind it is a place called White Island, which is um, covered in snow, mostly divide, devoid of human activity. Um, the sun is obscuring uh, Mount Discovery, which is the most prominent mountain that I can see every day looking at it now. We're looking almost due south, so beyond that is going to be the South Pole. Um, and then rising up is the Royal Discovery Range. And today is a little bit hazier than it usually is, but you can get a good reasonable impression. So I'm standing on something called the McMurdo Ice Shelf, which is comprised of sea ice, and that's going to be melting in the coming months here. So by the, let's say, Thanksgiving, they're going to probably stop landing planes here um, due to the ice thickness. And uh, so out that direction is the Southern Ocean. And you can't see it from here, but if you were to climb up, you know, say the tallest uh, dirt-covered hill up by town there, where it was yesterday, you can just catch a faint strip of blue, and that's where the Southern Ocean is, and that'll creep all the way up to the edge of town. Um, and so off that direction is the Ross Ice Shelf, which is going to be ice all year round, and you can almost see the border of it where these little ice ridges are popping up on the edge of the runway and uh, over towards Scott Base. Let's see if I can zoom in on Scott Base here. Okay, and uh, yeah, like I said, flanked by what are called pressure ridges where the sea ice and the ice shelf meet.